Let's go to the next one. Computer, next question. From World of Science Fiction on Quora, Michael asks, Among all the engineers on Star Trek, who was the most proficient and knowledgeable? What distinguishes that person from other engineers in terms of proficiency and knowledge? <laughs> I've asked this question on Quora. Uh, and right below, directly below the question itself, there was a guy who had put, uh, 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 why do you want to make everything a competition? And I'm like, well, because we're humans and the idea of sort of quantifying traits is is literally in us since the first Viking tossed a log, looked at his buddy and said, Psh, and you can't do any better. You know, translated from the Viking, from the original Viking. Um, so, okay, so we're going to go with, so I am, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this thought exercise. And here we go. I think when you really line them all up and we're talking about the main shows, uh, for me, the top three um, sort of go Miles O'Brien from Deep Space. It has to do, it has to do with difficulty and Miles O'Brien starts at number three. Number three, Miles O'Brien had to do an awful lot with another species technology. When they took over Deep Space, when Starfleet took over Deep Space Nine for the majority government, when they called us in and said, hey, we want you guys to take a little thing over, whatever. Miles O'Brien had a big, had a huge Herculean effort to have to do, which was translating, well, how are we going to get their technology to speak to our technology? At its core, a lot of our technologies are the same. They serve a lot of the same purposes. Whether you have a food replicator or food synthesizer, it's ultimately the same idea and the same concept. And so for him to have to rethink how they think into making it work with how we think, that's a big, that's a huge leap. And I think it definitely puts him on the list as number three. Number two, I feel like is, you're going to stay with me for a second. Bolana Torres. Bolana Torres from Star Trek Voyager. She had an even more Herculean effort than Miles O'Brien. She had to maintain a Starfleet vessel basically on hopes and a prayer, 70,000 light years away from Earth, no actual viable repairing options. They didn't have full-on industrial replicators like they have now. We, we, they, could, they could replicate some smaller parts, but ultimately she had to do what she could with nothing. And even sometimes they had to be able to, they found piece of people they could trade with and then hopefully make jury rig something together completely. So she had not only, she had not only the job to do that Miles O'Brien had to do, but then she also had to do it in another place with no connection to Starfleet and no ability to get regulation uh, parts whatsoever. I think that's a massive, massive uh, win for her. And I think it's something that's worth observing in that she worked really hard and they got to, from point A to point B, they got there. And it's all in the back of what she had to do as an engineer. And I think it's worth noting for sure. So who's my number one option? Now, listen, before everybody, before I get all the hate, I didn't want to hear me out very clearly. This is not pandering. I'm 100% I'm explaining. None other than Scotty, the original generation from, uh, not necessarily TOS, whatever, Scotty the character, okay? I believe, well, obviously TOS. I believe Scotty the character is pivotal and monumental in, in, in a major way. He takes, he pretty much had to do a lot of what the others had to do, except he had nobody who had done it first. O'Brien and Torres had the journals, had the, all the, he wrote the book that those two followed to become amazing. He set the stage. He set the tone in a way that is unbelievable because they had never been out there before. He was, he went where no one had gone before and actually had to make sure the ship survived not one, but two five-year missions, all right? And I think that that's massive. 10 years in deep space, deep exploration with very little touch back with Starfleet other than occasionally at far outlying outposts, not to mention the times they got in trouble and whatnot. So I feel like Scotty is, def is definitively one of the best, if not the best. So that's my answer. My answers are, again, Miles O'Brien at number three, Blana Torres at number two, and of course, Scotty at number one. Now, where does that leave the likes of someone like Jordan LaForge, some of the others? Uh, I am going to say, I believe LaForge, uh, he gets an honorable mention. I'm a huge, dude, I am a product of the next generation, okay? My future exists in the 25th century. And I feel like, I feel like Jordy was amazing and a, and a miracle worker in his own right. 
based on what Scotty did, meaning he laid the foundation, Scotty laid the foundation of the groundwork that everyone else followed. And that's what, but Jordy did a lot enough impressive things on his own. I say he definitely gets the the uh, the honorable mention. I do believe, however, Belana Torres and Miles O'Brien had to deal with things and circumstances well beyond anything Jordy had to deal with on a regular basis. Uh, so yeah, so that's my answer. Those are my top three if I had to quantify them because we're human beings and it's kind of what we do. So there you go. Now you know. Don't you have the battle that you have with me? You know, don't yourself. I hope you guys take a opportunity to comment down below. Let me know which who you give me your top three. And I'm fine. You want to go? Want to go into enterprise? You want to go into discovery? I'm totally down. But I definitely feel like when it comes to people who had to do a lot with a little, you'd start with Scotty and move forward from there. Um, arguments obviously can be made for many others, but I would love to hear those arguments. We'll talk more about it below in the comments. 